I refill globes better than Jesus cloth. <laughs> Yet still my twins are dad free. Why? They are need double dad. Businessman enters the shop. He wears clothes that cost money. His hands <laughs> His hands are briefcases and he's Hallmark hot. I've entered the shop. Hi. Do your snow globes lack wet? <laughs> Hurry! Christmas attacks soon. Wild times. Mm. Here we go. Wild times. This is the Christmas Merry episode. Merry Christmas. 108. 108. Yeah. We're coming up on Xmas. Yeah, buddy. Happy Very holidays. Exciting. Happy holidays. I, I love Whatever this holiday you celebrate. If you're a person that doesn't like Christmas, you're a bad person. <laughs> Unless you're like Jewish or Muslim. No. You just... you. I'm Jewish. I celebrate Christmas. Yeah. It's fun. It's a great yeah. time. You have a nice Everyone's holiday bush at your house. Holiday bush? A burning That's bush? That's what they called it in high school after they couldn't call it a Christmas tree anymore. Really? At my high school, yeah. Oh. Oh, well, I don't know about that. But we have a Christmas tree every year, and my family is predominantly Jewish. And I love Christmas. It's a great time. I love it's, Christmas, It's too. great. Yeah. I mean, look, everyone... Thanksgiving comes and goes. Everyone just starts kind of fucking off at work. Yeah. It's harder to get anyone on the phone. Yep. Because people are just like, uh, you wake up that Monday after Thanksgiving break, you're like, I'm shutting it down, boy. Oh, yeah. That's the end of the yep. year. That is the end of the mental year. It's getting dark. It's yep. cold out. You look better in sweaters. No True. pressure. Just let the gut go. <laughs> I haven't worked better out in three a sweater. months. Yeah. That's why I'm wearing the loose-fitting over shirt. Absolutely. Yeah. I just believe you it. also wore that shirt two, two weeks ago. Don't worry about that. Recorded. I got, I've got one look. It's your December right outfit? Now. Yeah. Yeah, and then food starts tasting better. Sure Red wine, dark as shit at five o'clock. I'm like, I guess I could pour a glass of wine now. <laughs> it's the holidays. It's fucking great. Also, we haven't introduced outside. ourselves, but I don't care. Eggnog is also the greatest drink ever made. No should question. be available year round. <laughs> it's so good. It's so good. We should start making our own nog and selling it year round. Year round. Yeah. Uh, I don't know yeah. why eggnog is only available this time of year. It's it's horseshit. If you lived in Alaska <laughs> where shit. it's cold all the time, yeah, yeah. you would need eggnog. You must to, have it. You must 100%. have it. Yeah. We made homemade egg, eggnog, my brother and I did last year. Good. Uh, a lot of work. A lot of fucking work. Interesting. Mm, fine. Yeah. It was fine. It was right. great. It's that, like making beer great. the first time. It's right. not going to be great. Right. Just we, go We by. brewed beer in our door, in our fraternity house bathtub. Hey, Charlie, don't bite oh, for us. There he goes. Please, why every time with you? Charlie. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. What do, you have to, what do you have to say, Charlie? Brrr. <laughs> Okay. That's not All right. Oh, we haven't even done the intro yet. All right. I, I'm your host. I'm Forrest Galante. I'm the, the broologist. Joining me, as always, the lovely, the handsome, the wonderful bro. No, I was going to say professional. He's not here yet. The, <laughs> no, no. Yeah. That would be BTG. BTG. Yeah. The professor. Hello. And the producer. Hi. There we go. We're done. Intros are over. That's Intros it. Over. Back on. to Christmas. Back Welcome to Christmas. Welcome in to the Wild Times if you're new. It's yeah. a podcast. We talk some shit. We yeah. do some comedy. We do some uh, wildlife and adventure. We banter, tell stories, crack jokes. Have Forest a beer. survival tips. I do. We yeah. talk about gear. Yep. There's Kyle's gear chatter. There. There's animal chatter. There's the odd manscaping chat. We talk about dick foreheads sometimes. That's a thing <laughs> we discuss. Yep. Yeah. Absolutely. And I'm having another sip of my beer. Enjoy that. And Merry it's the holidays, Christmas. as we were saying. What are you guys doing for Christmas? Uh, I'm going to New Jersey, uh, doing it with the family. Big meetup. It's going to be like Christmas vacation. It's going to be like 13 people under the same roof. 13 DeLucas in one place. Yep. Yep. That's it's going to be DeLuca. intense. It's going to be fun, and it's going to be like Christmas vacation, the movie. 100%, dude. Yeah. That's, yeah it's how many How wild. many kids? Uh, Six. Okay. Six right. kids under 18. I don't know how you do it, man. Uh, I, I am... I don't know. I just tried to propose that we just like bail the th me and the wife and the kid for what a Christmas. Grinch. What I a know, curmudgeon. Jesus. Why? Well, I just mean like over the break, you know, at some point. Not like bail on Christmas itself. See, this is what my wife does, and it, it pisses me off. It does. It upsets me. She's like, what if Are we you just listening, did this Jess? Like, let's just do us, you know, like just low key, like one present each, like. You don't even need it. Yeah, I'm like, but shut up. In fairness yeah, how many to her, do you want me to put in my boo? Because yeah, that's boring as shit. It's no. terrible. 
cool. In fairness to her, you make her like network and go out and <laughs> and and deal with all the people. You're such a like. You're always out with. He's people. Mr. It's Santa Christmas Barbara all year with you. Uh, it is. That's yeah. correct. Yeah, <laughs> that's absolutely so correct. So in fairness but to her, and in addition to that, I make her do all the cooking on Christmas oh, when we host goodness. and like hang out and like yep. you know she's the one who decorates the house and put you know so it's like she's like let's just take it easy. I'm like fuck that, take it easy. You're like I'm just let's getting started now that you've done the work. Exactly. Exactly yeah. right. Yeah, exactly. Well, this time of year, look, if you're just listening now, what, Christmas in six days? Yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm guessing, because I, I think I know our Brosners pretty well. <laughs> we do. Most of them haven't even fucking started Christmas shopping yet. I haven't. No. Yeah. Christmas Eve. No, I December know. I, 24th. I wait until the last presents. minute. Yeah. Uh, so let's, do, let's get right <laughs> really? into a game. Yeah. Let's get right into a game. Oh, All right. God. I love it. Let's go. Top three in DFL. Nice. Okay. Last minute Christmas gifts for 2022. Love oh it. boy. Okay. Okay. All right. I'm looking around because I want someone to go first. I'll you go. Sound, I'll all go. right. Okay. I'll go. I'll go. Okay. Top three. Coming in at number three. Chocolate. Okay. It's like a last minute. Like I grabbed you these candy bars at the gas station. <laughs> Might as well get a Subway gift bars, card, man. By the way, huh? Might as well get a Subway gift card. No, I, I'm I'm okay with it. I like chocolate. I would rather be given chocolate than nonsense. Do you know what I mean? Than a sure. tchotchke. A sweater that you can't wear. That I'll never wear. My yeah. mom does this every... Oh, shit. She listens to the podcast now. <laughs> oh, well, fuck it. She does this every year. She gets me flannel pajamas. Yep. I've never worn flannel pajamas one day in my life. Send them my way. I'll I was going to say, can I have them? <laughs> They're yours. I swear to God, I will okay. bring them next time. I have eight <laughs> unopened pairs from the last oh. eight Christmases. <laughs> yes, I'm raiding your closet. <laughs> yes, Jeez, your mom yours. is crying right now I listening know, to this. She's actually going to be upset when she hears <laughs> this. I'm hoping up. she skips this one. Um, <laughs> okay, right. that's number three. Number, nice number two. Think about this. I guess it's a tough one. Bad electronic. <laughs> <laughs> you always get the bad electronics. Yeah, like the impulse buy when you're leaving wherever. It, it's, uh, like, it's, things have changed now, but it used to be the sharper image get. Sure. Do you know what sure, I mean? Sure, yeah, like a like, laser oh, pen or something. Yeah, here's a laser pen. Here, yeah. Here's a magnet desk ornament. And you're like, <laughs> yeah. I, Interesting. I don't need this. You know, yep. here's here's a bottle opener that sings Christmas tunes. You're yep. like, why? <laughs> why does it do this? That uh, keep in mind, these are my top three. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And I'm like, wow, these this is this yeah, I thought is, you were going three DFLs. I yeah, I don't know. No, what. no, no. I like these. Okay. Um, but you know, and you always get them and you're like, I'd never buy this for myself. I don't really like it, but I've got it now and it's gonna live on my desk and people are going to comment on yeah, it. Yeah, there you go. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Number one, easy booze. Yes. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's the if best. You if you haven't bought something for someone yet, buy yeah. them a nice bottle of booze. And it's mm -hmm. a last yeah. minute, you know, pop into the liquor store, pop into Ralph's, here's yep. a bottle of whiskey, great. Goes on the shelf, bottle of wine, I'm happy, I'm drinking it today. Okay. You, Agreed. And you know it's a lot, and it's like an unwritten thing where you're like, I know that this wasn't thought out, so I'm going to drink it right now, and you're not going <laughs> to feel bad about it. Uh, so like if you have a Christmas party, I had a Christmas party last year, it's fantastic because everybody brings a different bottle of booze. Right. Some of it gets drank that night, but you're left with like good booze for at least two, three months, months. afterwards months. that you're sipping yeah. on every night. Yeah, yep. it's a gift Great that gift. you know will get used yep. versus the odd pair of socks. Yep. The laser pointer. Yeah. Which it does bring me to my, my DFL, okay. which was very close, boxers. Yeah. Every year <laughs> somebody gives you a set of like where. double XL <laughs> like ultra baggy leg boxers like i don't even know where these are purchased i'm not sure where people find them but they're like they're like they're not boxer briefs they're boxers where the legs are like right right as they're though bloomers. the trunk of your body could go down each leg bad hole. harsh material yeah they're they're stiff there you could like <laughs> break them i don't know where yeah, don't buy underwear for don't them. buy underwear yeah. for an adult man just don't do it yeah let them let them do it themselves <laughs> let them do it themselves all right brosters if you haven't gift shopped yet here's three things that you will be good for anyone. Booze is a great call. Yeah. Number one, a mixed variety pack of batteries. Ooh, oh, that's a good. That's a good interesting. Guess. I mean, what's more annoying? So these than are your you, top three. By yeah, way. these are okay. three good. Yeah. Someone, if someone gives me a fucking eight pack of each kind of battery, single A, double A, triple A, they're getting a hug. couple nine volts. What's worse than when the fucking uh, fire alarm starts chirping and you're out of nine volts? Suicide. Burn the house <laughs> yeah. down. Burn the house down. Or the yeah. remote, Straight anything. Yeah. yeah, you need one for no, the remote. No, that's a really good Everyone gift. Everyone can use it. That's a really good gift. Everyone you can need use that. This is nice and fast, by the way. I like, I like your pace. Yeah. Yeah. Number two, it's a fun thing. You wouldn't think of it. It's about 20 bucks. Little battery-operated breathalyzer. 
Okay. Oh, it's, yes. It's fun. Mitch had one of those. Yeah, they're fun to play with. Yep. Um, well, see, this is one of those cha- electronic chops. Yeah, exactly. talking about. But this so. is a very specific right, one, but, which is great. Yeah. yeah. You know, they're super fun when you're hanging out with your friends and drinking. Yeah. Blow into the shit. can become a competition. Totally. Could also be useful. You know, you, you, you've had a glass of wine. You want to run to 7-Eleven for something. Not a good idea. It's in this year, too. I've, se- I've been seeing that. Oh, are in? Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Yep. I like that. Uh, that's just Safety a fun first. little cheap thing that you can get. Number one. Number one is a... It's going to sound stupid, but I have this. <laughs> I'm with it's you. It's changed my life. It's okay. a little joy. Okay. One of those can openers that doesn't cut the can, it just opens it cleanly. Oh. And then you pull it off, and then you can use the lid. I've seen them. Sure, I've yeah. just never tried I've got it. one. They're amazing. So it's like not a sharp edge. It's not a sharp edge. You just like pop it on, you twist it. The whole pop, the top whole top side comes of the can. out. I've yeah. seen it. I've seen it's it. It's fucking great. Good it's yep. a game changer. Okay. Interesting. All right. Interesting. DFL. Yeah. DFL. Uh, a si- one side one, a 3B, Scratchers. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But then one. if they win like a million dollars, you're furious and kill yourself. No, because no, you... they're going to hook you up if they're a good yeah. bud. Just you got a bud that you don't know what to get something for. It's 50 fun. bucks worth okay. of Scratchers. Gambling. Yeah. Gambling's fun for <laughs> the whole family. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. a good time. DFL, true that. gift cards. Don't buy anyone a gift card. It's thoughtless. It's so thoughtless. Um, it's just, you, you just don't, don't give someone a gift card. I, I have... I would say it in my desk drawer, I have close to $200 worth of gift cards. Yep. Because it's all places I've never physically been. <laughs> Chili's. Yeah. I yeah. actually have a Chili's one. Chili's. I'm not joking. I, every store I check out at has fucking Chili's gift cards. Yeah. I'm like, I haven't seen a Chili's in 10 years. <laughs> yeah. True. I have a gift Walmart card. gift card for t- for like $22. Like right. not even an even number. And I'm like, what? Like... I go to Walmart, but I don't go to my office, grab the desk, of course not. then drive to Walmart. So every time I, I happen to pop into a Walmart for something, I'm like, sure could have used that gift card I don't have. <laughs> it's yeah. just like going to sit in my drawer for the rest of my life because yeah, I'll never sure, spend sure. Cluttering up the drawer. Yep. Okay, right, well, Peter. you guys hate gift cards, but I'm going to use gift card as my number three, but not a specific gift card. I'm talking like a credit card for like can be used anywhere. So it's, just money. Money. But, cash. but yeah, on the card. In, in a card, a nice, well, a card that I sat there and looked for that's so unique like to you. Cell phone credit. Give me some cell phone credit. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So that's my, my number three. My number two is um, you guys ever gotten one of those? Multi, it's it's a popcorn tin with cheese, regular popcorn, oh, yeah. caramel. Yeah, yeah. caramel yeah. What's the Chicago popcorn place? The I famous one. I think it's called like uh, G- Giraldi's. Gir- uh, no. Yeah, yeah I, I don't know. Like it's, it's really good. Yeah. yeah. So Can that, you look it up, Cal? I've got them, this? and they've they're great. They last for the whole season. You eat it every day. It's well, the cheese is the best. I think. Oh, not the caramel. I God, love the caramel. caramel. It's so good. But it's you two eat too different vibes. Like two different vibes. And they are good together. Garrett's. Garrett's. Yeah. A Garrett a popcorn sponsor. tub. Yeah, right yeah. there. Yeah, Chicago style popcorn. Yeah, so so you got that as my number two. My number one, oh God. And this is because this item for me signifies the beginning of the holiday season in my house. It's right here. It's these it's it's a candle sure, that smells candle. like Christmas. Because Interesting. you light it. People don't I, even if people you don't like uh candles. You'd give the little explanation. Hey, light this candle when you want it to start feeling like I, Christmas. I, I'm going on Amazon buying Christmas it candles. I don't. I've never bought a Christmas scent oh, candle. I, I have them I in buy, my office. I buy literally the day after Thanksgiving. I'm I doing it right. Like, this I'm not actually, even joking. And I burn them constantly. You taught man. me this back like in 2012 in our office. We went out and bought candles. That's right. <laughs> it, it was like life changing. I'm so much happier. I'm oh, just yeah. like ah, uh. dude. During the work day, sometimes if I just need to spruce things up, yeah, I light the candle in my office. I'm like. Whoo. That's it. Stand up at the desk. I, I'm flying. I'm not joking. I'm buying a Christmas candle. I, I've never <laughs> done fantastic. it. I've never burnt. Like our house is Christmassy. You smell the tree, but it's not this. And well, I, does it I, smell Christmassy in here not, right now? Yes. It's yeah. beautiful. That's the, my whole point. I didn't realize. I mean, I should because I'm looking at it, but it's the candle. Exactly, though. Difference. It's yeah. like subtle. You're just like, yeah. oh, I feel a little it's bit. It's also two treats for the price of one because what happens is when you light it, you get that initial pop. Right. Of spice. Right. Spice. Then spice. you get olfactory fatigue and you forget about it. Yeah. You walk outside to take out the trash or walk the dog. <laughs> when you come back in, you're like, whoa! It's so the true. holidays in my house. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It is so true. What's DFL? DFL, and listen, I know a lot of people do this. I've gotten these. This isn't geared towards you. Who You know who you are. <laughs> a, a Christmas tree ornament that is is like... 
not really thoughtful, you know? It's yeah, like just a, like the Target buy. Yeah, I'm like, sure. come on. Like, I have This bugs. one had a dog on it. You're like, I did yeah, get sick. a flying pig one time, and I really appreciated that one. <laughs> but, but it's got to have a little meaning behind it. Like, yeah, hey, I got this stuff from your favorite restaurant back home. Exactly. Or my sister yeah. will, like, she made me a handmade one. I love bringing it out. But if you're just giving me, like, a bulb from Target that says Merry <laughs> Christmas yeah, on it, brutal. it has been smashed and thrown in the trash. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, that's my DFL. That's good. good tips. Love it. I like that. Yeah, really like pets. Out of the box there. Out of the box. Dude, thinking. the batteries. Batteries. I might is, just give everyone batteries this year. It's a good <laughs> gift. I'm gonna it's have a, a heavy gift. suit. I might have a problem going through security at LAX. <laughs> Checking, <laughs> sir. You have a, a suitcase of batteries. A full suitcase. Dude, that's one thing. Whenever we travel for work with the camera guys and them dealing with the battery shit and oh, security. Yeah. Every time. I just look down and pretend it's not happening. <laughs> yeah. I never time. thought about that. So it's always like a big hassle, Every right? Every single deal. Time. God. Yeah. Flying with camera batteries because they yeah. you don't usually check the cameras. Sure, sure. You, you have a battery in case, you know, something happens. And it yeah. says certain right on the thing. Like, for, certain batteries for our equipment kind of go in the check luggage. So what ends up happening is there's six of us flying to wherever and every airline, every country has different battery regulations. <laughs> so then Mitch comes along and goes, all right, guys, I've got these 17 batteries that we need to break up between the five of us for our <laughs> carry-on. And you end up putting this thing that looks like a fucking stick of dynamite in your right. carry-on. <laughs> and uh, every single time without fail, it gets flagged when you're going through your checking your hand luggage. They're like, what is this? And they pull out this brick, you know, this black right. brick battery. And then you have to sit there and explain, no, look, it's only, you know, it's one volt under the allotted voltage. And uh, no, no, I don't have three of them. I have one. He has one. And he has one. <laughs> it's hassle, like every dude. fucking time. It's a dude. stress mess, dude. It's like, <laughs> oh, it feels God. like you're smuggling coke up your it ass. It does. Yeah, it really it's, does. It yeah. literally goes into your pre production plans, doesn't it? No, That's it's, the problem. it's, it's That's always the right before you go through security. The camera guy's being like, yo, you got to take like three of these. Yeah. Every like, time. Well, I was planning on just quickly going through and going to the bar. <laughs> Correct. Every, every camera single guy's time without yeah. Kyle. Yeah. Kyle. Um, Kyle, what about you? What are you any, any plans for Christmas? Uh, just to hang out with family. Nothing too special. Your uh, freshly married brother is going to bring his new bride brother, over. His new bride, his dog. Nice. Uh, yeah. Nothing Did you do a little drinking? Were, were there any hookups at the wedding? Not that I know of. Don't lie. Huh? Don't lie. It was a late night. It's but an ugly look when you lie. <laughs> Good thing he's not on camera. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was a lot of fun, but uh, yeah. That's not great. I mean, you, if you can't parlay being the best man into... Uh, and you're how old, Cal? You're, you're 97. 27. Got it. Don't worry about these guys. They just like to give us us shit. So <laughs> no, don't take what they say. I mean, Mid twenties wedding is prime for a hookup. And Kyle's not what that happened? kind of guy. He is. How did it all go wrong? <laughs> 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 it was a lot of fun. We uh, speech went well. Dinner went well. And then you know the dancing. It all went well. Is there any video of you dancing that we could perhaps play? I haven't seen any. There might be some out there, but I don't know. <laughs> If you but, if you listen, I know Kyle's mom listens. Please send us some footage of Kyle dancing. Yes. Yeah. All right, let's get this podcast back on track. Let's do some animal stuff. Should we? Should we talk about <laughs> what's in the news? What's in the news? <laughs> yes, sure. Dude. What's, what's in the news? news? Sure. All right. News. What's in the news? Well, what I can tell you this much: news? my yeah. worst nightmare is in the news. Oh shit! Is this the one where your dead grandma's climbing up your rectum? Pecker. Oh, nice. Like, that was better. Yeah. Um, no, I, I look. You don't know me to be very squeamish about critters, do you? Just no. leeches, as we learned in the last yeah, podcast. <laughs> Mosquito population explosion in New South Wales. There's a video, uh, Kyle's going to pull it up here, Ugh. that a farmer shot on his farm after a heavy rain in New South Wales, Australia. Kyle, can you play the video for us? Look at this. This is mosquitoes. Not like gnats oh or midges, God. actual mosquitoes. Look no. at that. It's a nightmare. It that looks is like an it's actual nightmare. Out. That is disgusting. It really is, though. Like, that is that is awful. So, so yeah, what's the story here? Uh, I mean, it just, it just it, happens. This is just what it really is. So, this is in New South Wales, Australia, which is, right? Correct. It, which is the province that, like, Sydney's in. Correct. And a lot of, yep. pe lot of yep. people yep. live in there. Yep. Yeah, okay. I mean, obviously, it's not all over, right? I'm sure it's not like this in the city, but it's, it's wherever <laughs> this happened. And it does happen sometimes where... Especially after a long dry spell, and then you get you know a bunch of water, yep. and yep. the breeding explodes, and it's nice and warm, so they hatch quickly, and uh, yeah, you get this. And I mean, it is a nightmare. I've seen it really bad, like to the point that locals in the Everglades were leaving Florida 
and it was not even a fraction of this bad. Oh, it my was God. Terrible. Even the moth yeah. looks like he's having a tough time with all these mosquitoes. Yeah, getting bombarded. So for those who are only listening, it is a full cloud. It looks like a locust swarm of yeah. mosquitoes. Ugh, it's disgusting. The, the sky is brown. I yeah, actually no think one. I actually <laughs> think that like that would cause you to be anemic. Do you know what I mean? If you sat out there right. for like five <laughs> yeah. minutes, like, could you imagine what that would be like if you sat out there for five, for I, a minute? I feel like on Naked and Afraid, I used to watch it all the time back in, in your day when you were on it, Forrest, and yeah. insects were the thing that made people quit the most. It was mosquitoes. Ah, mosquitoes. got me again. But, yeah, he's um, never going to like it. Mozzie's like a cloud is what the wool farmer... But you got to say it like, you got to say it like an Aussie. Yeah, good day. Mozzie's like a cloud. Mozzie. Huh? So the entire, <laughs> the entire, like, the oh, towns okay. around here. <laughs> no, yours was good. Oh. They're out of bug repellent. Yeah, they Horrible. can't get it. Horrible. Whoa, that's no, like I mean, there's not much more to it than that video and explaining it, but it's just an absolute nightmare. Can you imagine trying to live in that situation? No, it's not like I, oh, I can't go outside because it's really hot, you know, and I got to yeah. race to my car to get <laughs> right. in the air conditioning. Yeah, it's not like that with mosquitoes. Like you just you cannot. You right. need a full no, suit. Fucked. You can't. You can't move an inch. So it was, yeah, it was a dry period followed by flooding. Yeah. So that the the area got wrecked with floods. Yep. We're like, oh, thank God that's over. Right. No. <laughs> Now the plague. It's a fucking mosquito. No, you apocalypse. need you need a literal bug suit to go to the car, like you would wear a winter coat, like in Chicago miserable. during yeah, the winter. Absolutely miserable. Yeah. It's, a, it's a nightmare. But I mean, look, there's not much more to the story than that. It's just awful. So yeah, it's not. I mean, this is is this something that's because of global warming, so on and so forth? Do you think this is just? I, I, it's Australia, right? So it's probably a common occurrence. Everything wants to kill you. Uh, yeah, it's just. I mean, it's just Australia. I think. That <laughs> right. Says okay, it I got gotcha. you. Um, all right, I saw one that, and I'm going to get into an ethical debate on this one if we can. Okay, it's all right. this is my favorite news story, probably of 2022. Sure. By the wow, way, Charlie's a fucking terrorist. He's terrifying. Why? He's been What's he doing today? My forearm accidentally glanced his butt, and he turned around and was. He's like one more touch. I really like it because you know he's kind of putting you two in your place. You need it sometimes. True. Uh, you know, and I think of myself as a friend to all animals. And Charlie runs over, sits on my lap, and I scratch his head for fifteen minutes, and then he just lashes out and bites. Well, me. why do you think I made you guys sign that uh, iPad waiver before you came <laughs> in the so house? True. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, he's a, he's gonna make a great thylacine, by the way. Oh yeah. All right. So what do you got? What's this? What's this moral dilemma we're gonna have with your news story? Well, first of all, I love this news story. All right, and I love it because of the of the photograph. Fisherman catches sixty seven pound goldfish. Look at this. <laughs> that it's, is a real fish in the UK. Sixty seven, nearly holy seventy shit. pounds. That is a goldfish that got to that disgusting size. It is oh my. actually just a goldfish blown up. Like it didn't yeah. change its morphology right. in any way. It is it's just true. a gargantuan it, goldfish. It, it's like a goldfish under a microscope. So, it's, it's uh, fairly and I disgusting. think actually, Kyle, can you scroll down? I think that it's a hybrid of some kind. Uh, 25 minute, blah, blah. It's a colossal carp nicknamed the carrot that weighed in a staggering 67 pounds, four ounces. The giant fish is to be the second largest of her type ever to be caught. Be caught. Oh, blah, second blah, blah. largest. Oh, it was in France, not in the UK. Um, Hybrid of a leather carp and there a koi carp. Yeah, so it looks very leathery. In it's the a face. koi and a carp <laughs> hybrid, but it does look, you know, it's a goldfish. Yeah, it looks fake. I mean, it looks taxidermied or all something. All right, so here's the ethical dilemma. So it's a two parter. First of all, what do you do if you catch this fish? I mean, this thing's an yeah. abomination because <laughs> you can just tell it, it wasn't meant to get like this. So it was in a lake. Yep. I'm releasing it personally. Okay. But I don't know the full ethical remedy. Ramifications. Yeah, Peter? I mean, I, I, based on the frog story that I told last podcast when I yeah. that I experienced when I was a child, I will always release everything I catch. So you know, I'm an avid fisherman. You guys know that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. spear fisherman. That is going immediately to a taxidermist and going on my wall. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I just yeah. love that. Yeah, I'm sorry. Like <laughs> you're telling me, you don't want a 70 pound goldfish mounted in your kitchen. Nobody yeah, would right there. It. Can you imagine walking in? You look there, <laughs> and there's a 70 pound goldfish on this pretty white wall right here, just glowing orange. I got a question though. I mean, your wife would not allow this, would she? In the house? In the office. 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 Have to go in the office. Yeah. Not enough room in Do we there, know yeah. what this angler did with his? Uh, catch? He released it. Oh, he, he definitely did. released okay, it. Yeah. But the ethical dilemma is this. That is a hybridized fish that has been bred to look like that from a koi from Japan and a carp from China that's been caught in a lake in France. Right. It okay. shouldn't even be there. It shouldn't be alive. It's, it's a monstrosity. 
I'm not saying I just it put it on monstrous. my wall for that reason, but it's a monstrosity that's an invasive species that looks like a Christmas ornament. And if I'm catching everything. it, I swear to God, I'm taxiderming it and putting it on do my wall. Do you have anything taxidermied? I do. Three fish. Oh, I was going to ask okay. how much a taxidermy costs. It's like 200 bucks. Oh, that's it? Yeah. Oh, all right. For that, for, right. for a fish like that big. I Based think on size. Stuff's more, that but, goldfish yeah. would probably cost 2K. Two uh, grand. And I would pay it in a heart. Can you imagine that? Right there on I that know. white wall. I, I just can't stop dumb. thinking about how much the wife would hate. She would be like, no, and I'd have to fight. And Dude, argue. have her wake up on Christmas morning. She Here's comes down and it's just fucking nailed in. <laughs> <laughs> just a big taxidermy. I, I mean, I kind of, maybe I should get a swordfish. Swordfish are cool. Yeah. But you mean just like buy a taxidermied one? Yeah. <laughs> Well, nowadays they yeah. make, they're mostly replicas. So they used to do, and even my walleye is a skin uh, mount. It's the actual skull and skin. Yeah. But nowadays they just make replicas that look identical. And oh. it's way better because you can go out, you can go catch a 600 pound marlin, take measurements, we'll let it go, and then they'll make you an exact replica. Oh, it. that's interesting. Yeah. I didn't know that. Oh, so yeah. it's like more sustainable. You can oh, catch yeah, it's release. Much better. And, yeah, it's much better. Oh, that's super. That's cool. Yeah. I like what it. do you think of taxidermy? I love it. Yeah. Especially, uh, actually, we should do it so, as a segment at some point. Bad, Bad taxidermy. taxidermy yeah. Bad taxidermy is so good. There's so many fucking funny ones. Oh, man. my God. They're insane. Have you seen this, Peter? Uh, no. Kyle, just pull one up. Just quick Google bad taxidermy. <laughs> Yeah, there's like a cottage industry of people who are amateur taxidermists. Oh, okay, okay. And uh, some of their creations are uh, less than. Uh, <laughs> That's fish. Lose fish. Yeah. Just go bad taxidermy. The squirrels are. Yeah, there yeah. you go. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, this go to is the, like go to any, literally any one of those photos. <laughs> no, go to the go to the Jaguar. Scott, go one please. down. It looks like they fucking stuffed it with a traffic cone. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> it's so bad. Look at the oh. fox. Oh wow. Yeah, no, wow. bad taxidermy. It's the eyes the and the looks on the faces or yeah. what. Right, right. Okay. It, it's so this is interesting. I never knew it's, it's like an art form to, to oh. do the taxidermy. Oh, big time. This is not something that you just pick up and are like, oh, I'm going to make stuff this animal and make it look yeah. like it was when yeah, it was alive. Yeah, stuff it full of socks. Yeah. <laughs> this is what it comes out looking like. Oh, my oh, goodness. Look at, the, look at the snow leopards over there. Oh, boy. Wow. It's funny. It's like a bad piece of artwork you would see on a piece of paper. Somebody tried to paint it. Well, and, and, you, well, and it's you, become you see the two cool. there, like the difference between the, the like relatively well done one on the bottom and the, uh, right. the, the, the one that Jimmy did in his garage. J Jimmy gave up halfway between. He got the body done and he's like, all right, maybe I'm not a tech. Not even. I think he just stuffed a handful of cotton wool in the head and is like, yep, that'll do her. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> the eyes. It's like when you change a fucking bike tire, like when you change it out the tube. Yeah. There's like a little bit of an art form to stuffing the tube inside the Definitely. tire getting and it getting right. it around and sealing yeah. it, and mm -hmm. it can be infuriating. Mm -hmm. I feel like that's what was going on here with the face. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you're just like, I can't get it up. All right, he's got a cleft palate. Fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah, poor, poor guy. Ah, Living in infamy, looking like that. Um, all right, one more news thing. One and more news and thing? Then I want to do something fun. There's, there. there's an extinct animal news thing I put on my Facebook the I other day. I heard about this, yeah. You read about it? Yeah, it's good. It's, uh, it's kind of silly, but it's also kind of cool because any time an animal that we thought was extinct comes back, it's very cool. However, what makes this one the coelacanth of mollusks, mm -hmm. Peter's like, those are, nope. I know what a mollusk is. Oh, good. What's a coelacanth? A fish. That okay. Was extinct a fish for of 66 clams. 66 million years. Oh, okay. And this clam believed to have died out. 40 million years ago. Wow. And so a tiny clam species has been found alive and well uh, that was gone for 40 million years. Yeah. That's crazy. 40, no, 40,000 40, 40, years. years. Sorry, yeah. 40,000 years, not 40 million years. But um, it's a tiny little clam. Tiny little clam off the coast of California, of all places. Oh, well, really? Yeah. Oh, Santa it's, Barbara even. It's just, to me, it's funny that we even knew it existed. I know. Like, how did we... Oh, it can only be from fossil records. Right. Yeah, interesting. But, you know, I feel like for this guy, uh, whatever his name is, something Goddard that discovered the Sinatoya kooky. <laughs> <laughs> that must have been a pretty good day. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. I mean, it's like one of those things. It's like a clam this big. It's from the deep sea, right? It's like this little white clam. All we know about it is from finding like shell middens and you know cliff walls and stuff right. like that, and then it's like, oh, cool, they're still here. Right. But it's, it's not. That's why maybe I didn't like get like all super stoked about it, right? Because right. it's not like, oh man, there's this 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 bird, this primate, this whatever, and it was here just twenty years ago, and nobody yeah. else has been able to find it. This is like, 
oh yeah, we didn't know this bivalve was here. Here it is. Like it's also know. it's right. also like there's only a a small percentage of people who would be able to discover this thing. Who would care in the water and like notice that this is? Oh, well, they yeah. were they weren't even looking for. I mean, they were literally looking through tide pools for right. sea slugs. Right, <laughs> and they and, find this weird little clam. And, yeah, and, you know, I as well. Like even as someone who knows the California coast and creatures very well, mm -hmm. and most marine biologists would look at that and just be like, oh yeah, this is some juvenile clam species. You right. know, like. You wouldn't identify it quickly. Yeah. So I don't know. It's cool. I, I, I don't mean to downplay such an interesting yeah. thing, but it's just sort of like even the guys who found it were probably like, neat. You know? Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. yeah. I did but, that. It yeah. makes the news because anytime something comes back from extinction, I, I even did if have, it's a tiny clam. I, I had one news story I wanted to talk about just because I rarely have news stories, but this one really interested me. Okay. And then we'll get into your bit because I'm also putting that off because I know that it's going to embarrass me somehow. Okay. So Plus, then it's going to embarrass us. Okay. All right. Maybe yeah. let's get into it. No, but so there was, there is, they studied over 200 wolves in North America and they found this parasite in a certain percentage My of them. My mom sent me this. Yeah. yeah. And evidently this parasite turns regular wolves into pack leader wolves. Into alphas. Yeah. yeah it makes them more bold. Mm -hmm. It's like a parasite. More that, aggressive. Yeah, more aggressive. Mm -hmm. And then they'll they'll literally just go out and take over other packs. Yeah. And it's it's wild, man. I want this parasite <laughs> for me to use like a superpower. Does it then kill them though? Not that I read. I no. don't think so. No, no. I didn't see that it's either. It's a toxoplasma. Yeah, toxoplasma. Makes its host bold. I'm at, keep going down, Kyle. Kind of crazy, though. Even that they discovered this, ah, too. So the, so the parasite is designed, has somehow evolved to create behaviors in its host that makes the host more likely to survive longer. And and wow. reproduce sexually to pass on the parasite. Oh, yeah, dude, that is that is that's wild. It's almost like it's not even a parasite because it's symbiotic with it. Sort of, yeah. yeah. Well, it is, yeah. Not the, sort of, it the, is. This, yeah. But also, so they're saying this Toxoplasma gondii has been studied in people that have be become affected with it. Oh, interesting. And it yep. does cause physical and behavior ch changes in humans as well, including including. Increased testosterone and dopamine. It sounds fucking great. Yeah. Can we please get some of this? Yeah, how do we get this? Can I just, I'm just going to start licking wolves. Every yeah. time I see a wolf from now, I'm licking it right in the mouth. <laughs> right in the mouth. Yeah, it's by Scream. eating in, in infected animals. How you get it? Uh, wow. Yeah, I just thought that was interesting. And the fact that they figured this out too, you know, by just studying I, a couple I hundred bet you wolves. I have it. I'm yeah, not yeah. joking. I'm I not saying it. that because of the testosterone. I'm saying because of the lack of risk adverseness right. and the <laughs> fact that I've eaten a lot of really gross and weird stuff. Well, it says they, they estimate up to one third of all humans might be infected with it. I, I didn't even. I dude, bet you I've got it. It ate your amygdala if, for sure. A third, for sure. <laughs> that means someone in this room has it. Correct. <laughs> probably. It's you. probably me. Yeah. The guy who eats weird, rotten stuff all the time. I told you guys <laughs> about my testosterone story, right? Did I tell you about that? I don't recall. Yeah. 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 Well, really quickly, my barber was like, oh, dude, my barber's like 45 years old and has a six pack and is just jacked. And like, <laughs> I was like, Richie, and he's a MMA fighter. I was like, how do you fucking keep it up at like 45? Like, Bro, mm -hmm. got to get testosterone replacement. Like, go see my guy. Oh, yeah. And I was like, uh, all right, I'll check it out. So I went and saw the guy, and the guy drew my blood and was like, are you kidding me? Get out of here. He's like, your head will explode. Yeah, if you get hey, more he's testosterone. like, you're like 700 or something. He's like, you have to be below 200. And I was like, oh, okay, bye. <laughs> Mine's probably yeah. at one. It'd be a better experience. It's, it's, for me it's to at do one it. right now. Yeah. <laughs> I have like, a you single have one test. testosterone. <laughs> <laughs> you have one. <laughs> um, Fair enough. All right. Well, in the spirit of Christmas, yeah, and it sort of ties in. Remember how we did a couple battle royales that uh, where we used the AI to create, of course, the creature. Yeah, yeah. And it kind of works ish. Yeah, yeah, it works. -ish. You hear a lot about AI. All these big tech companies, big at the moment, spending billions and billions of dollars on AI. Yep. Mm -hmm. It's going to be the, the future. So, some guy had the brilliant idea to input the screenplays of fifty Hallmark movies <laughs> to an AI. Wow. <laughs> to and create then, one. He asked the AI then to write its own Hallmark Christmas movie. This is a real play. thing. Wow. Yeah. Oh, wow. I have the script. <laughs> no way. <laughs> yeah. So what I'd like to do here. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I've There's got, a lot. I've of, got a script and I've got some props. It's a lot of thought went into this. Yeah. yeah. So what I'd like to do is got some props here. Oh, wow. Take these. Wow. He All printed right. out scripts. This is serious well, business. Wigs. I want to see. I want to see the Wigs. power of AI. Okay. And if, I'm it, in. if an AI can write a screenplay. And how good it's going to be. Yeah. So don't look at it yet. Okay. Roger. All right. 
Peter, you're going to be the narrator who reads the screen direction. Okay. Okay. What I want to do is I want to give this a serious, a serious shot. Okay. Like you've done some acting on your yep. more recent project yep. that you did. Exactly. Okay. So you're going to, so there's two people in it. Okay. You're going to play <laughs> the woman. Uh, clearly. Okay. I'm going to be the businessman. A natural choice. Yeah. So let's get these wigs on. Okay. I, did, did you purchase wigs or you have these wigs just available to yeah, you? I have, we have a whole bin of wigs at my house. <laughs> this is I had to go up into the attic last night. I was furious. Hit my head. <laughs> <laughs> this is incredible. All right. Oh, that's good businessman hair. It looks really nice. Looking look, really good. Forrest look, just put on you, a... <laughs> You look like the lead of a Hallmark Christmas movie. I, I do. Yeah. You yeah. look like a the very woman. serious businessman who's returned to his hometown. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. With a good two Well, we'll see if the AI did a good job with this or not. Yeah. Okay. So I want you to read it, like do it like an actor would. Of course. And I'm going to do the same. And then Peter, you read the screen direction. Okay. okay. I think Kyle wants you to sit back a little okay. bit. The wig looks yes. amazing on the wide shot. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Let me tuck this tag up because this is nice. I want. Forced to you want it to be as real as possible. So, so, so this person just says, by the way, the person who put this, I forced a bot to watch over a thousand hours of Hallmark Christmas movies and then <laughs> asked it to write a Hallmark Christmas movie of its own. There we go. This is the first page. All right. All right so Peter, you set the scenes I circled <laughs> where you need to read and then Forced and I will act it out. Very seriously. All right. This is called The Christmas on Christmas. Interior small town snow globe refillery. We see a single mother refilling snow globes with Christmas juice. She's a widow. No, no. Read what it says. She, she is a she is widow. Okay, yeah, yeah, all right. She is widow. Her husband died in every war. <laughs> I refill globes better than Jesus cloth. <laughs> Yet still my twins are dad free. Why? They are need double dad. Businessman enters the shop. He wears clothes that cost money. His hands <laughs> His hands are briefcases and he's Hallmark hot. I've entered the shop. Hi. Do your snow globes lack wet? <laughs> Hurry. Christmas attack soon. <laughs> Businessman has flashback to when he was business boy. A Christmas tree explodes in his family on purpose. He now hates trees and Christmas and explosions. He exits the flashback. Shut your sound. I am from huge city. I thought your land I bought your land and I'm turning it into an oil resort. Rude behavior. <laughs> this is a family business. I sell families. <laughs> I am widow. My husband is now bones. <laughs> Single mother points to her husband's bones in the corner of the room. They are all gift wrapped in eggnog. <laughs> <laughs> all of my wives are bones. That is America. But I must make money for my twins to live. They are a prince. <laughs> I, too, own twins. Please, don't have bought my land Christmases today. <laughs> Laugh. I bought Christmas, and now it is never, unless we go on dates. I cannot date because of a snow curse. I pray Santa helps me. Santa cannot help. She did not know, but Santa was her husband. <laughs> Santa is bones. Bones help nobody. <laughs> End scene. scene. Yeah. Oh, wow. Brilliant. I, I, AI is really getting that. I'm just concerned for, like, I have some friends that are writers. <laughs> They're fucked. <laughs> like, we, don't, we may not need writers anymore. Not no. at this rate. No, not at this rate. I, I like that she didn't realize that Santa was her husband, her deceased husband. Until right. the very end. Yeah. yeah. Right. I like it's the wise from the, the guy. All my wives are bones. <laughs> yep. The twist is really how something about, to behold. How about the twist of they, they both have twins? Yeah. I, too, I too own twins. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and one of them's the prince. Wow. Yeah. Or they is prince. What do you, uh, did you just come across this or were you researching? I came across it and I was just was like crying, laughing. Yeah. Uh, it's fantastic. That was a, I yeah. like that game a lot, by the way. Yeah. I'd like to get the rest of the script. There's not one piece in that that isn't 100% accurate to every Hallmark movie ever. <laughs> right. Yeah. Oh, it's the most formulaic. It's a woman who loves Christmas. Big no, city. Yep. She, she, uh, yeah, that's what it is. She lives in a big city. She's become a Scrooge. Mm -hmm. She has to go back to her hometown right. for X reason. Yep. She has an awful boyfriend in the city that's right. evil. Right. 
every time. <laughs> Runs into and he, by the an way, axe. he's evil because he works so hard to provide for Correct. her, Correct. which makes him a bad guy. He's awful. Yeah. Right. Runs into her ex who works at the Christmas tree lot or right. whatever. She learns to fall in love with Christmas again and moves back home. <laughs> right. That's it. Every time. Everyone. You've just corrected the AI script in less than 10 seconds. Yeah. yeah you just, <laughs> yeah. That AI needed a few more rules, but. What do you yeah. think would happen if we gave it just every episode of The Wild Times? <laughs> Oh. And just said, spit out a podcast. Yeah, spit out a two-page script. Then yeah, read a podcast. Out of a job. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't think it could because there's so there's nothing formulaic it, it about would, what right. we yeah, do. Yeah, it would be just jarbled just nonsense. Pure, pure gibberish. I love yeah. AI. And and after we did what's in the news, did you see these fucking robots allowed to shoot people? Oh, I heard. No about I read about it. Yeah. Have you guys seen this? I heard yeah. about it in I San saw, Francisco. I saw it on yeah in San Francisco. I just saw it because Joe Rogan <laughs> posted the headline, but. Uh, San Francisco supervisors vote to allow police robots to shoot people on site. It's it's the most insane thing. I thought it was just like a a you know a clickbait headline, but it's true. Like like an Onion article or something. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. No, I can't believe it. It's unbelievable. Well, it's coming I mean, obviously right. it hasn't passed yet. It's not happening yet. But it's just like on is Christmas this the world we're living in. Yeah, we're bringing mammoths back and putting them back. We can resurrect thylacines and dinosaurs. Robots are allowed to shoot people. Right. AI can write movie scripts. Right. Like, is this real? Like, I, I think when you dig into it, it's more saying like in an active shooter situation. Is it's, it? I don't it's, know. it's not I like the robots the are deputized to like kill you for jaywalking. No. I think it's like if there's an active <laughs> shooter or something like that, they, that they, send could, a robot they could in. use a robot to oh. disarm them or kill That's them. That's kind of cool. The scary actually. part is that it's the same AI that wrote the script is the AI that's training these robot <laughs> Correct. dogs. Correct. That's the problem. I think the robots are probably controlled by humans. I, I, I'm hoping hoping that they, it's not like some AI computer brain that's like I'm identifying sure. active shooters. It has to be. That it, would be a nightmare. If not now, in five years. It, it's a slippery slope with these robot killer dogs, man. We're, we're screwed. Oh, have you seen those? The little yeah. uh, what is it? Dynatech or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And they just keep getting more and more. You can't, you can knock it over. You can do, it can go through the woods. Pops right back up. It's scary, it's man. crazy. That and drones. If you make a police department consist of drones and those robot dogs, we're fucked. It's Terminator. They're taking over the world. It's crazy. Dr yeah. Drones would be really scary. Like yes. drones hovering over your house. Terrible. Like, what the fuck are you Terrible. looking for here? Oh, man. Or like a squad of a thousand tiny drones. You can't get away. The good news is no, you'd never get away. It's, it's like our kids and our kids' kids' problem. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. It's like we're we're gonna be dead by the time drones are constantly hovering in the sky policing us. I hope. Sure. Sure. Is Amazon delivering packages with drones? They, I think they are. I've they seen video of it. Doing it. Yeah. They, maybe it was a disaster. Yeah, I know they were doing it as like a pilot program, but yeah. like if it's not here yet, it certainly will be. I've definitely seen on the street the the ones that deliver food. They they're like just on wheels. They deliver food. It's just oh yeah, a little the little robot. blue like cooler box with wheels. I, where yeah. did I see that? I saw that somewhere. It's they have them. I think in Santa Barbara, just oh, on the sidewalk. Yeah, yeah. It's like an, uh, it's like one of those little vacuums, except it's a f delivering food to you. Wild. It's Absolutely. really that is. Wild How are times. there going to be any jobs left for people? You got to be a computer nerd like Unless me. Unless you just, build the robots. Right, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Which they will also put you out of your job eventually. I wonder if we'll ever have AI that actually works, though. <laughs> Dude, Probably they're not. keeping that secret. They've been talking about it for like 25 years, and it's, yeah. it's like shit. They're keeping it secret, the, the good AI, the ones that control all the lights we see in the sky, the aliens. Oh, okay. Yes. They're keeping it secret under wraps? Yeah, the military. Oh. You, think so? you think there's actually good AI? I definitely think the AI that we see is is like 50 years behind whatever the military has. Interesting. Nift. I love that. I love that uh, toupee on you, especially this part. Really. It's really nice. Yeah, that's, it? that's just it's a tag. tag. Yeah, it's the, well, it's the, it's I would have <laughs> left mine on if it wasn't so irritating to have all the loose now, hairs. That, it's oh, what that it's like to have awful. long hair. Yeah. I wore that thing to a ho uh, Halloween party. Yeah. <laughs> and the entire party, I just had hairs in my mouth. And Everywhere. I was like, oh, well, yeah. sucks. Yeah. But when you're playing single mom at Christmas store... Right? Isn't that my character? Single yeah. mother Owns refilling Christmas. snow globes with Christmas juice. Yeah. <laughs> what is Christmas juice? And how do I get some? A, a refillery. Yeah. Because like yeah. if your snow globe, like, you're like, this is just a little dry. Yeah. 
you yeah, yeah. take it somewhere. You yeah. don't even fill it yourself. Right. Someone's juice evaporated. <laughs> yeah, that's a job. The snow globes are great, though, I must say. In addition oh, to yeah. candles, which I mentioned earlier, snow globes really give it a nice visual. Mm -hmm. I haven't bought a snow globe in a long time. You're not, you're not out there buying snow globes left and right? Who is? I feel like in the town you live in, there's probably five stores that only sell that. <laughs> probably. Yeah, yeah. probably. <laughs> yeah. Good old Santa Barbara. Nice mom and pop shops. Maybe that's where they got the uh, the AI got that character from. It could be. It is a small town. Yeah. Um, all right. How about a game? All right. Let's do it. How sure. about we play... At first glance, Bizarre Animal of the Week. Ooh, I love that game. Creature report. All right, here we go. You guys ready for this? Yep. Yeah. All right. This is Bizarre Animal of the Week. All right. Okay. Getting my All right. Thinking Our Bizarre Animal of the Week lives in swamps and marshlands of East Africa. Okay. Mm, that okay. narrows it down. And it lives in swamps and marshlands for up to 35 years. Okay. Lifespan of 35 years. Okay. That's a long time. Okay. How big do you think this animal is so far? I haven't given you a lot to go on yet. Uh, I'm going to guess six feet long. Yeah. Like a crocodile type animal. Okay. This is a three and a half to four and a half foot tall. Tall? tall. Okay. Oh, shit. Up to 15 pound animal. Okay. Wow. Okay. It's very nimble. This it's sounds light. cryptic to me. It's very mm. light for its height. Gets fun. <laughs> so, our bizarre animal that lives in swamps in East Africa for 35 years that gets three and a half feet tall eats mainly fish, but occasionally will eat frogs, snakes, lizards, and even small crocodiles. Okay. Wow. Mm hmm Okay. You guys are probably thinking this is like a slow-moving swamp critter at this point, yeah? <laughs> uh, I hadn't thought that far ahead, okay. actually. My visual is definitely like swamp thing right Okay, now. well, this swamp thing can move up to 30 miles an hour. Okay, so it's fast, it's light, mm -hmm. it's eating crocs. Yep. Okay. So mm. our bizarre animal of the week, Brosters, start your guessing. Lives in swamps of East Africa for 35 years, up to four and a half feet tall, eating fish, bugs, critters, and even little crocs can move up to 30 miles an hour, and it's an ambush predator. Okay? Mm. It'll stand still for long periods of time, and then bam! Stand still? Mm-hmm. Fuck. This is tough because I don't know anything. You guessing? You, what, what group of animals are we looking at so far? I, I mean, I'm going to have to go something that is in the crocodilian space, but I don't know that anything exists outside of alligators and crocodiles. Well, I'm, those, I'm thinking okay. it's in the bird family. Interesting. The standing oh, interesting. still, the fact that three to four feet, but only 15 pounds. Mm -hmm. you know, ah, that's, that's a good that's, guess. That's a good guess. Ratio. Yeah. Let's continue. I have more clues. This critter, with all these unique features favors areas of poorly oxygenated water. Okay. Now, the reason it likes poorly oxygenated water areas is because it causes fish living in the water to surface more, to breathe more uh, air okay. for them to mm. prey on. All right. Smart. Okay. Very smart. Now, we're going to start getting into some clues here that might give some stuff away. So, to recap, our bizarre animal of the week lives in swamps of East Africa for 35-year lifespan, four and a half feet tall, 15 pounds, ambush predator, can move up to 30 miles an hour and eats fish and even up to baby crocs that likes these poor oxygenated swamps, lay two eggs, but only one ever survives. Okay. All right. All right. So it's an egg-laying animal. Dragon. Dragon. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This might help. I wasn't sure when we put this together. These creatures appear in wall paintings and hieroglyphics of ancient Egyptians. We'll just leave it at that. Okay. They're in the hieroglyphics. <laughs> I can picture this, I think. Yes. Okay. In the hieroglyphics. Okay. Any, anything else? I got two more. I'm just, there's a big dramatic I'm thinking bird revelation for sure. here. I mean, I'm okay. on the bird board now, All right. Too. Well, it's a bird. That's the next clue. Okay. So it's a bird. <laughs> okay. okay. The um, bird board. So... Here we go. I got two more, two more, okay? It's usually a silent bird with all of these features I've said, but they are known to clatter their bills loudly during courtship. Okay. So it's got a And can make bill. a sound that resembles a machine gun. <laughs> oh, wow. Yep. I all right. It is. You know what? It, you know let what me it take is? a guess then because I'm probably right. I'm wrong. I'm going to give the last clue for the oh. Brosners playing all. All right. 
and we'll take our guesses. So to recap, our bizarre animal of the week lives in swamps in East Africa for a lifespan of 35 years, up to four and a half feet tall, weighing 15 pounds, eats mostly fish, but can eat all kinds of things, even baby crocs, speed of up to 30 miles an hour. It stands motionless as an ambush predator and then bam, nails things in low oxygen environments. The females lay two eggs, but only one ever survives. They're in the hieroglyphics of ancient Egypt. They are a bird that is silent, but during courtship will clatter their bills loudly like the sound of a machine gun. And the chicks often bully, fight, and kill their siblings. I just wanted to include this known as siblicide Uh (laughs) when they're only a few weeks old, hence the one surviving. Okay. What do you think? What uh, is our bizarre animal of the week? I think this is a uh, East African machine gun ostrich. That is a really good guess. You got it. Two yeah. eggs? He, Come on. That it? That's it. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Nice. No, two eggs. Guess. That's a good guess. Two eggs. Uh, I think it's the shoe bill. <laughs> it is the shoe ah, bill. Ah, yeah. Very yeah. Good. The do you bill. know the shoe bill? Look there he is. Thing. Look at him. Wow. That is a interesting looking bird, a mean looking bird. Have you got a couple other picks there, Kyle? Like some more like profile ones? They're a fascinating animal. I'm not like a big bird person, but this is one I would go nuts to see in the wild. Oh, my God. In the wild? Yeah. Go- Kyle, Google um, Shoebill Mimics Man. I want to see if it comes up. No, I haven't seen this. Now, that's frightening. So it mimics um, men too, humans? Yeah, go down. I just want to see if I can find the one. No, it's not. Yeah, Let's just click on one, though. Must be one of those first two, right? Like maybe like 10 years ago on Facebook, my stepbrother was playing with a shoe bill. He was playing, a, he's a, oh, in yeah, a bluegrass yeah, yeah. band. I think you sent that to me. Yeah, and it went super viral. Yeah, you sent that to me and you said that's my brother-in-law or stepbrother or yeah. something like that. Yeah. That's wild. Yeah, because you're, that's right. Can you explain to the Brosners, your family has ties to that part of the country? Yeah, he was. Part the, of the world. Probably. Yeah, he was there just because he he's, uh, was in a bluegrass band and they were, they had a sweet thing for like four or five years. They were doing something with like the state department. Yeah. And they would send them around the world and they could just like play shows. So cool. But he was in Africa and it, the shoe bill wasn't in the wild, but, um, still, I know they're really cool. One. Yeah. Charlie's <laughs> a noose is on your head. Good thing you have that protective wig. I on. know. Thank God. His tail Charlie. is up. Charlie, come here. His what are you anus doing? is come, come, look. Look, come. just turn around, Patrick, and you get a nice brown eye right there. Charlie, I'm, what I'm are you doing? I'm very tempted to hit him with a pillow and knock him <laughs> off the side. Come here, come here. <laughs> Pat's mean. He'll attack you. <laughs> I've never once attacked Charlie. He's attacked me five or six times. I know. That's why we signed the affidavit before we came. <laughs> oh, he's back. He's back. <laughs> Well, Back to the butt hole display. The, sh- the, the, the uh, shoe bill. I mean, it wouldn't be a very good wildlife podcast if we didn't have our rabid hyena running around <laughs> no the back shit. of the, the and couch. And we are going to get turn him gourd. into a uh, yes, thylacine at some yep. point. We're going to take Look, him down. He behaves He's like completely a thylacine. nuts. What's going on outside? I have no idea. I think there's an Amazon driver out there. <laughs> he wants to kill him. Now he's. Could back. you imagine if Charlie was sixty pounds? It would be no. Well, we wouldn't come over here. No, Peter would be in jail. <laughs> <laughs> um, how many shoe bills are there left? Yeah, is it because like, are is they there common? Any out chance there? of seeing one in the wild? Uh, they're not common. I mean, I think they're on the endangered species five list. To yeah. 8, five to eight thousand. Small, not a lot. Yeah, not a huge population. Definitely one of the coolest looking things. It's so prehistoric. Looking. Oh, yeah. It's like a di- That was one of the clues, but I actually took it out because it just was like a vague clue to be like, it looks like a dinosaur. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, that doesn't really. <laughs> it's add a type any value. of stork. Yeah. Shoe bill Which stork. I didn't realize. Yep. That's, that's yep. where babies yep. come from. Yeah, anyway, <laughs> very bizarre. Super cool looking. animal. Well, Christmas is coming. It's exciting. It's, it's, it's happening, man. I've got presents to, to buy. So I used to do all my Christmas shopping. We discussed this at the beginning of the pod on like the 24th of December. But now I hate going to the store. So, yeah. but the, here's the other problem: my wife is on the Amazon. It's actually her Amazon account. My uh, credit card's on it, but it's her Amazon account. And I don't know how to set one up. <laughs> so anything I buy on Amazon, she, she sees. Uh, right. So it's like I don't know. Do I just buy Amazon presents? Do I, do I have to go to a store? I mean, but the vast majority are going to be Amazon presents. Of course. Okay. Yeah. I don't want to go shopping. Dude, it is. I had to go to the mall last week for a different reason, and it was. 
fucking mayhem, dude. <laughs> I was like having a pan. Like I literally was like, there was so much anxiety from just the, the, the mass of people moving about. Yeah. That I just like went into a little coffee shop inside the mall and just like panic ate a croissant. Panic yeah. ate a croissant. It, yeah. It was, we're, we're two and a half years away from every retail store being gone and there only being restaurants and bars. I mean, sure. who enjoys this? Does anybody enjoy going to these places? The re- retail shopping? Yeah. Not like, one bit. Well, it's just like everybody's out, miserable. Nobody's fucking happy that no, they're there. No, I don't think so. I think women love it. Some okay. people like the, like, seeing the stuff, touching it. Yeah. Sure. But no, no, Jess has told me time and time again, she's like, it's not the same. You can't try it on. And I'm like, I don't want to try it on. <laughs> right. Yeah. I'm willing to take the 70% chance that I'll just put this in a closet and never wear it. Yeah. it doesn't fit. I'm happy to hate it for the rest of my life and never <laughs> right. wear it if it means I don't have to try it on. Right. Yeah. Yep. Yep. I mean, guys and girls are just so different when it comes to things of, like that. I mean, I can't. It's like you. I get anxiety going and all the traffic. Too many people, dude. Just looking for parking. It's like I'm out immediately if I'm not being forced it. to do it. Can't dude, do it. If, if I have to go somewhere where parking's bad... <laughs> Once I see how bad the parking is, I'm gone. Yeah, you're not you're not, you're not fighting it. There's no way. Yeah, and so there's nothing worth it. And Everything at li- my house is fine. Yeah, <laughs> and we live in the worst area of like the entire world, well, country at least for parking and bullshit out here in LA. It's just like nope, nope, and it's immediate, dude. Once Black Friday hits, you can't. It's like you don't want to leave the house, dude. Yeah. I I didn't even tell you guys this. I was I landed at LAX on Black Friday to drive oh. home. No, no, listen. Yeah. Freeway, totally clear. 405, oh. not a single person on it. Cruising home. I get to basically here, Peter, like yeah. at the 101. Right. It's dead stopped. <laughs> yeah. Why? Camarillo outlets. Oh, God. There is a line, an hour long backup Oof. line on the freeway for the exit to the Camarillo outlets. Yikes. That stops me. It, my, my drive home that should have been an hour and a half was three hours because of the line of people. Going to the outlet shops on Black Friday. Interesting. Yeah. So you're looking for like an extra 20% off already deeply discounted flawed goods. <laughs> to, to sit in line for an entire day. Yeah. You, right. I, I don't think there are words that could describe what a nightmare person I would be if I was in that situation. <laughs> like if my significant Same. other dragged me to that. Yeah. yeah, yeah by yeah, the yeah, time yeah. I got out of the car, I would be just like, I would be like, I would be the cocaine bear. Yeah, it's <laughs> yeah, it's funny. My wife's like, I was like, oh, it'll be fun when the kids a little bit older go dis- uh, take her to Disneyland on like a Tuesday, you know? Yeah. Like it'll be fun. She's like, ah, I'm just like worried about going to Disneyland. I was like, why? She's like, because of you. She's <laughs> yeah. like, the second there's a line, yeah. which is every ride, you're gonna just be complaining and be a nightmare. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, you're right. She's, she's right. Was yeah. there ever yeah. a time where we liked it, though? I mean, when, when I was a kid, did I like it? I no, because there were fucking less people around back then. I swear <laughs> to God. I True. swear to God, there were less people. There was, there was It was easier to do shit back then. Yeah. Well, also, when you're a kid, you have less... There's no opportunity cost that's part of the calculation. Right. You're exactly. just, I'm here, I'm going to wait 40 minutes, and then I get to go on the Pirates ride. Right. Sure. Versus now, you're like... In 40 minutes, it's melting away of yeah. like my life clock. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. And if you've lived 38 hard years like Peter, those 40 <laughs> minutes are real valuable. It is. It's tough, man. <laughs> Dude, when do you turn 40? How long? Year and a half? Mm, August. This August? Well, yeah, in 2023. Dude, we should throw your liver a party. We okay. should. Let's do For it. turning 40. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Just a second house warming. Booze. Yeah, second house warming. We'll just get a big, th- big old thing of whiskey. I'll oh, just whiskey. down it. Can I make jungle juice? I make great jungle juice. Yeah, what do you put in it? Everything. Uh, just every kind of booze? No, like bags of candy and fruit. <laughs> uh, I swear to God. Starburst? Oh, yeah. Starburst, uh, sour gum, gummy worms, you can all definitely kinds of make booze. It. Skittles. Skittles is great Oof. in jungle juice. I can't promise anyone's going to drink it. Oh, they will. <laughs> you're not going to hate yourself the next day, but when you taste uh. it... Couple, couple Gotta Vicodin that, in yeah. there. Oh, mm. my goodness. Oh, yeah, oh, that'll yeah. be great for the liver. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Throw a few Tylenol in there. Everything, dude. If you, <laughs> it's it, yeah. Whew. All right. Well, well any, many more news stories? No, I think we're well past that. Oh, yeah. I right. forgot we did the Bizarre in. Yeah. Im all. All right. Well, guys, it's been lovely to see you in person, even though Forrest is wearing the same shirt as last time. Uh... Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Merry Happy Christmas. holidays. Happy Hanukkah. Merry Christmas. Everything. Happy Hanukkah. Yes, sir. Uh, what's the other one? Kwanzaa. Good uh, Kwanzaa. There's, there's holidays. A lot of them. Yeah. Yeah. And New Year's Eve. That's coming up. That'll be it nice. Is. Yep. All the holidays. Uh, we'll be staying in, mate. Yeah. We'll be in bed early. Yeah. 
Should I do the thing? Do the thing. Start with, well, it's been fun. That's what you, <laughs> that's what you usually do. <laughs> well, it's been fun. If you want to find the Wild Times, everything that we have to offer, go to wildtimes.club forward slash info. Go check out the Patreon. Patreon.com forward slash Wild Times. Pat, what's going on on that Patreon? If you like the podcast, you get four additional podcasts a month. Yeah. It's very simple. If you've listened this long, because I'm still under the impression that everybody signs off before the ending, just comment Patrick's perm. <laughs> That's all you have to write. Just write Patrick's perm in the comments, and then I'll know you made it all the way to the end of the show. Yes. Yep. Yeah, find us on Spotify. Thank you. Oh, oh, you find us on Spotify, too. You can also subscribe and get the bonus podcast there. Uh, Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. I love you. I don't know about you guys, so. I don't love you. you. You do love them. You talk about it a lot. Remember how awkward our endings are? still be? terrible. I mean, he's got a wig on. No, but that part's nice. That's the Patrick's perm reference.